Pris, I don't know if you heard uh, for the media day for Connor, you brought your name up. I yeah, know, it, it brought my name up and I, and I listened to that. I listened to it as well and he said, well, what happened? And uh, from Connor's side, he said, we released footage. Right. I didn't release footage. You know, the gym owners released footage. I phoned the gym owners. They said, Connor gave them the thumbs up. I was in a space where I didn't know what to do. A few, a few weeks later, Connor releases on Mac Live, edited footage, and I still didn't do anything. And that's when I counterattacked with the real unedited footage. Right. After Conor McGregor released edited footage on the Mac Live, then I had no choice. I was advised for my own good and for my career to release the unedited footage right. and, and let people know that, you know what, this wasn't one-sided. Mm -hmm. and, and I heard uh, uh, Conor's interview and he said he smacked me around. You know what, Julian was there, my coach was there. Julian, what did you say? <laughs> Okay, well, let me, let, me, let, me, let me explain something real quick. I wasn't there on the day that was filmed. That was the second day they boxed. Okay. The first day they boxed, they boxed at uh, the other Box and Burn, burn in, Santa in, in Santa Monica. The second time, if anybody, anyone who knows anything about boxing and sparring, the second time you box someone, usually if there wasn't too much bad blood after the first time, it's usually a little bit calmer. It's usually like, oh, you guys are kind of like, oh yeah, what's up? You know, how you doing? Like, you Helping guys have met other. each other. Helping each other. But every time it's the first time you guys box, it's like there's heat because it it's like, yeah, you, I mean, you want to know who, who's, who's the alpha. And let me tell you, the first day, it was very, very obvious who the alpha was in, in the boxing We room. cut his nose. He cut him in the, in, I remember in the first round, he came to me in the corner and he, he looked at me, he smiled and I smiled back at him. And I, I nodded like, yeah, keep doing what, keep doing your thing. Second round, he cut him over the nose and he came back in the corner and I, I swear on my life, I told him, all right, tone it down, tone it down, help him. I, I, I swear on everything I love. But, but, but I already him, right there, we established that I am the better boxer. boxer. Better boxer. Now yeah. let's just, let's just now let's chill out. Chill it out. Yeah. And then, and, and like I said, Connor was very, very nice to me. I was very, very nice to, to Connor. We were friends. Honestly, we were shaking hands, hugging, and that's when we set up the second sparring session. Yeah. But now, like like Julian said, by the second sparring session, things were calm down. We were, we, we, there we go. We now we were like, okay, now we're gonna move around. That's why you saw in the second footage, my hands were dropped. I was making, you know, I was just having fun, and they 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 took advantage of that, and they formed it. But. I had people forming as well because something inside of my head told me after they approached me and said, can we form? And I said, no. Something said, you know what? Just get your camera out and just form it for, for your own safety. And that's what we did. You know, what goes around comes around. That's what I believe. And, and, and why, why, shouldn't, why should he, just because Conor McGregor is the face of the UFC and, and, and a, like a popular fighter, let him do that to him? Like... As, a, as another fighter. Disrespect me like that. Why, why, should he just, why should he just keep his mouth shut? Fuck that. Fuck that. 